right, this week we've been working on changing direction uh, moves. So we're going to take you through some of the steps that I've been coaching uh, this week. First, you need to be able to change speed. You need to add deception before you can change uh, direction. Okay, so there's four change of direction moves that we worked on. The first one is chop and push. Okay, so the chop, you're using the inside part of your foot to chop the outer curve of the ball. Okay, you're trying to chop it from one foot to the other. So right foot, you take it to the left foot. By the time I can push it out into open space. Okay, so again, I need to think about chopping with the inside part of my foot on the outer curve of the ball. So about around this general area and chop down. So I go here and chop down on the side curve of the ball. Same for here so that the ball will roll, roll from one foot to the next. Okay, you're just trying to find that outside curve to touch on with the inside part of your foot so that you can be able to chop it from one foot to the next. So chop it and then the push comes with the pinky toe of your other foot. So this portion of your foot, I'm trying to be able to chop, push it quickly. Chop, push, chop, push. Okay, so let's walk through the steps. The three steps that you need. The first step is change of speed. So we have a bunch of cones out. The idea is, can you attack the cones or the defenders that you're going to and then change your speed into sprint. You gotta be unpredictable. So I got I can start very, very slow, but I need to accelerate into space before I use my deception. Okay, so it's very simple. You can just work on practice on step one by just dribbling slowly, keep the ball post, and then work on acceleration or changing of your speed into the middle of the into the middle of the space. It doesn't have to be like that, it can just be Whatever you want to, just make sure you change your speed. Okay? This is just me working on step one. Start slow and then accelerate or change your speed into the space. So again, it could be whatever move I choose. I just need to be able to change speed while I go into space. Okay? This will help you be uh, unpredictable. Such as these the opponent can't see what you're doing. Okay? So make sure you change your speed first. Okay? The next one is change of uh, add deception. Deception means like fakes or tricks and so on. So after I change my speed, the key to adding your deception is using your body. Okay? So the, the first step is to uh to plant your foot slightly in front of the ball, okay? So as the ball is rolling away from you, you have to catch up and plant your foot or stomp your foot slightly in front of it. So from this camera angle, you'll be able to see my left foot is slightly in front of the ball, okay? Same thing with my right foot. It's slightly in front of the ball, okay? So before I do my chop push, I need to sell my intentions. I want to make the opponent believe that I'm going to shoot it on goal or pass it. So as the ball is rolling really fast and I'm rolling and I'm running really fast, I need to get my plant foot slightly in front of the ball. Okay, so I'll, I'll do a, a couple of it here. All you can do is just roll the ball out and just practice. Step in slightly in front of the ball. Let the ball roll. And think about where's your plant foot. Okay, the next step is the swing of your arm. So as I'm stepping into it, I'm swinging my opposite arm as my other leg goes back. So if I'm shooting with my right foot, my left arm is swinging back. So watch my left arm. Okay, as I'm going to plant my foot, my left arm swings, okay? What I'm doing is opening up my chest to where my chest is getting over the ball as I swing. I'm opening up my chest to where this leg is getting ready to swing back 
so I can uh, generate enough power to strike the ball. So I'm here, okay? Same thing. Here, I can do it with my right arm as well. So I'll go here, okay? Step up, this arm goes up, this leg goes back, my chest exposes over the ball, my plant foot is slightly in front of the ball before I strike the ball, okay? So again, you can practice that as this opposite arm. It will help you with balance. Uh, it will help you generate enough power by twisting, getting your chest over the ball, plant foot in front of the ball, etc. Okay, all this stuff will help with your deception. So I step up, boom. Okay, add this to your game so that you can be able to fake your shot, hide your intention, and so on. Okay, and that's easy to practice. I want to work on left, okay, work on the left. If I want to work on the right, work on the right, okay? And then the last one is use the change in direction field. So if we put it all together, it will look like this. So I dribble up, change speed, add the fake, chop, push, okay? Same thing, dribble up, accelerate the space. Get the foot where it needs to be. Cross, push. You can try any attacking moves. So scissor, explode, plant foot, chop, push. I can go to the left side. Chop, push. sell the move. So get it here. Chop, push. Chop, push. Chop, push. Okay? Now the other skills are the same. I step forward, pull it down, push it. You're making a V. Down, push with both feet. Down, push. Pull, push. Right, the second change of direction skill we learned was a pull and push. I can pull it down, use the inside of my foot to exit, or I can use the outside of my foot to exit. Pull down with one, push it with the other, inside or outside, okay? That is the change of direction, the second change of direction, okay? Just like the first one, you could do in front of you, you could do behind you, or you could do one foot, okay? The pull push, you could do in front of you, you can pull it behind where your body's in between them and the cone, okay? And then you could do it as a fake with one foot, so I can pull it and then push it. We'll pull it down, push it forward. Right, you can use those to your advantage. We'll get here, step slightly in front of the ball, pull it down because the opponent is going to lunge forward. So you have to pull it down, away from the reaching leg, and push it around. Piggy toe, inside your foot, whatever you need to work. Okay, so it's the same thing. How do you practice it? Just get the ball rolling a little bit slow. Get your plant foot together. Get the swing of your arm together. Get the stomp of your foot. The exaggeration of your swing to where you're faking it. You can just work on it, okay? With the ball rolling or not. Try to get your fake down. These are all little easy mini steps you can do to work and perfect your game. So when I go here, pull it down, push. Step, pull it down, push. Jab, pull it down, and then push it. Goes down towards me, and then I push it out. Pull it down, push. Pull it down, push. 
Okay. I'll show you what it looks like. We should add all the steps together. First step, change speed. Add the steps here. Pull it. Push. Okay. Change, change speed. Add the steps here. Change direction. Okay. Pull it down. Push. Pull it down. Push. Okay. Everything's all the same. Okay. The next change of direction one was a stop. Face your opponent. Then push it. Okay. So this was same thing with your your placement on your foot and so on during the deception phase. But the point is, if I'm zooming away from the goal, you are the goal. And I'm here. It's going to be difficult for turn, to turn my hips to shoot that. So I need to stop the ball, face my opponent, draw her or him into me before I choose where I want to go. So if I'm out here, I can fake, uh, fake the shot, fake the pass, stop the ball with the sole of my foot, drop my foot to where the ball's in between both my, both my feet, and I face my opponent for like a half of a second. Because once I show the opponent the ball, they're going to try to steal the ball. So I want them to come and try to steal it so I can push it into an open space before I go and score. Okay, so anytime you're not facing your opponent, stop the ball, face them, pause it, and so on. Just simple stop and go, etc. Okay, notice I'm using the NES to, to get into the space, but you can just use the outside of the foot like this if you choose to. But the key is, Stopping the ball, turning your hips to face your opponent. So if my hips are facing the wall, I need to stop, get it and face them forward, face the ball I want to score on, face the opponent I want to attack, and then choose whatever you want to do. Okay? I can exit out and so on. Add the step, change your speed, add the step change the direction now. Okay? So again, if I'm attacking here, I stop it. Face them, I can push it elsewhere. Okay, push it out here. Stop it, face them, push it. Stop it, face, use whatever skill. The key is I'm still adding those deception moves. I don't want the ball to stop. I don't want, want the ball to roll anymore. So I get it and stop it. Even if my back is to them, stop it, face the opponent. Ball's rolling out here. Stop it, face them, keep the ball rolling. Stop and goals will help you, especially if the opponent is way faster than you. Okay? So just add a bunch of moves if you choose to. Okay? So can you control your body, can you control the ball, and so on, going at full speed. Okay? So change speed, add it, I can exit out, etc. Okay? Do you have full control over the ball? Okay. <clears throat> the last one is the step over. This can be confusing because a lot of kids will bring their feet together, then around. That's a scissors. When you bring your foot together behind the ball before one of them goes, <coughs> before the nearest foot goes around the front curve of the ball. That's a scissors. Step over is when the foot that's furthest from the ball goes around the front curve of the ball first okay the foot that is furthest away from the ball goes around the front curve of the ball the ball will be in between both your feet when you do this momentarily okay you can just practice it here without the ball moving to where the foot that's furthest away goes around the front curve of the ball you're pretending like you're taking it with the inside of your foot, but you go over it instead. I'm trying to get the opponent to go in this direction. If I get the opponent to go in this direction, the space opens up over there. I want to get them to go over here. The space opens up over here. I can take it away with the outside of my foot, the foot that went over it, so my right foot went over the ball. I can exit into that space with my right foot. Okay? I can also step over with the right foot and exit into the space with the left foot, inside of my left foot. 
if I want to use both my feet. Okay? How do you add change of speed? You can add change of speed by dribbling slow and then running really hard in one direction. Okay, both feet are landing outside the ball. I'm running past the ball. Okay, right, left, right, left, left, right. Okay, notice I'm stopping my feet. I'm getting low. I'm getting that little burst of speed right before the ball. Okay, etc. Okay, that's where you add your change of speed to get them moving in one direction before you move the ball. Okay. The deception part again is where you can add the swing of your leg, where you like, like you like chopping it, kind of stuff. Where your leg, your kicking leg, is exaggerating what it wants to do. Like I'm going to shoot it, I don't want to pass it before I go. Okay, so that's how you add the change of speed and the deception. Okay, and then you would just change direction. So if I go here, I choose a space, step over. Take a touch. That was with one leg. I can go with two, just like that. If I do two, I can either touch it in two touches, like this. I go right, then left, or I can do three. Left, right, right. Right, left, left. Or I can do two. Left, right. Right, left. Just gotta turn my hips quickly. Left, right. Right, left, four, three steps. Left, right, right. Right, left, left. Okay, get your whole body on one side of the ball before you touch the ball, okay? You can do two of them. So if the ball's rolling forward, you can step over, step over before you go again. Okay, you can choose how you want to be able to do it. Again, if I dribble up, change the speed, step over, I'm out. Okay? I can do that same side, but I can do two. You can see here, I can go here, step over two times, now I'm out facing the goal. Okay? So what do you want to do? How do you want to set it up? Scissors, cool. Step over, I can do two, to get out, whatever. Boom, boom. Okay? You can mix it up however you want to. You just gotta leave the ball. You can set it over the ball and so on. What I'm doing is a step over into a scissors. Okay? Step over here to exit out. Step over into a scissors to exit out. You just read your opponent. Keep your chest over the ball where you have full control over the ball and your opponent. And so on. Hopefully you find it helpful of how to use the four change of direction moves. Okay? You need change of speed, deception, before you change direction. Okay? Thank you.